After a heated debate on Utah's Capitol Hill today, state lawmakers banned transgender athletes from girls' sports in Utah schools, despite Governor Spencer Cox's veto. We have team coverage of this developing story tonight, starting with Fox 13 News political reporter Ben Winslow. The House and Senate flipped enough votes to override the governor's veto. Now a lawsuit is expected over the legislature's actions. I think Utah is in a very unique situation. Lawmakers voted to override Governor Spencer Cox's veto of the bill banning transgender children from playing school sports. It preserves the integrity of women's sports. If it were about fairness, we wouldn't have passed this version in the last hours of the session without any public comment. I don't believe anybody wants children to die. Facing some re-election challenges and pressure from social conservatives, many lawmakers flipped their votes. It's a political theater. And it makes me sad to think that this is why we're here. We also harm the trans community. One senator refused to vote to override, saying it may cost him his political career. And if I lose my race, then I lose my race standing for what I believe in, like I always have. On the last night of the legislative session, lawmakers passed a ban, but in the event of a lawsuit, it reverts to a special commission to evaluate whether a transgender child can play a sport consistent with their gender identity. The governor vetoed the bill, arguing it harms already vulnerable transgender children and leaves school districts open to lawsuits. I don't think it's fair to the taxpayer because they are still on the hook. I vote aye. Lawmakers addressed that in a special session approving 500000 for legal bills. The ACLU tells Fox 13 it will sue Utah over the ban. Our intent here is to protect women's sports and keep women's sports safe and competitive. Republican leaders on Capitol Hill expect it. We're anticipating that. The bill's sponsor pushed back on claims she's picking on transgender children. As a state, I feel like we've done a really good job of trying to help and support these kids. However... Somebody identifying as a, as a girl, I don't believe, based on that alone, should give them the opportunity to deny the rights and opportunities from another girl. In a statement, the governor reacted to the vote, saying, I am grateful the legislature recognized that there were serious flaws with House Bill 11 and for the heightened debate and input that legislators were able to receive over the past few weeks. I called a special session to fix at least one flaw in the bill and were heartened that the legislature agreed to indemnify school districts and the Utah High School Activities Association from the enormous financial burden that inevitable litigation will have on them. I remain hopeful that we will continue to work toward a more inclusive, fair, and compassionate passionate policy during the interim. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.